All right, so this is episode one of lighting. In this episode, we are going to be showing you how to take down and put up the racks. Everything about the different types of lights that we use here, uh, gels, gobos, and fog machine. So we are backstage left where the control panel for our light racks are. Um, they're also called electricals in case you move somewhere. Um, so uh, with these, they're labeled racks one through four um, with the up and down button, nothing too super scientific. But so before you come over here, you have to check to make sure the path of the rack is clear. And then you call out rack number two, for example, uh, coming down or going up, depending on what's happening. And then you wait for something to respond with all clear. Rack two coming down. All clear. So now that we have the racks down, um, you can see all the different types of lights we have here. We have our Legos, Brunels, and then we also have box lights and parkans, which we don't really use. They're more for kind of like maintenance purposes. So we mainly stick with these two. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do all the different adjustments that you can angle and like move the lights. Um, one thing to make sure you have is gloves because the lights get very hot and you don't want to burn yourself. So always handle with gloves. So the first one we can do is this little hand handle here. So lefty loosey, righty tighty, and angle it forwards and backwards, left or right, depending on how you see it. And then I'm gonna take this tool called a lighting tool or in our theater we like to call it a crucifix or a cruci. So I'm gonna take this center um, hexagon Yes, a uh, hexagon piece, and kind of take it underneath, and then loosen that. And then you can spin it 360 degrees. For whatever reason, after you tighten the little like hex bolt that's here, and it still moves, there's this little square piece that you use um, this little square to tighten. Um, that you can use to like, you know, fix it. So yeah, that's, that's that. One thing to know about Lico's is that they can take gels and also gobos. Um, but in order to use the gobos, you have to focus the light. So by using this thing called a top hat, you can focus the light. Um, by this little knob that's right here on the side. Don't know if you can see that, it's right there uh, you loosen it and then you look to see when the circle becomes harsh so, like that's focused unfocused and I'm gonna leave it as focused all right so this is the gobo it's a little piece of metal that has like designs in it not quite sure if you can see that but trust me there is a design so normally on the same side that this little knob is to focus the light there is a little slot underneath this little flap, so you can stick the gobo in there, and there's a design. And so you have to focus the light in order to see the design. So, for example, there's like super focused, and then unfocused, how it's all just blurry. This is a gel. It is a little metal frame uh, that has like a see-through plastic that is obviously like in different colors. And this is how we change the color of the lights on our lights. Uh, so the way you put it in is you take the frame with the gel inside, put it in this little slot till it you know, stays. Then you take the clip that's here, you push it to the right and then down. And that secures it in place. Uh, take it out, you push to the right with the clip, push it back to the right. Take it out. All right, so something that you can do with our Legos is they have these little shutters, so you can kind of change the shape of the light so it's not just a, cir a circle. Um, so you do that by just pushing them in. So you see how now it's like cut off. And so when you do that, it's cutting off the opposite side. So for example, I pushed in this one here on the right, and then it cut off part of the circle on the left. 
and then it's the same with all of them, pushing this forward, one cuts it off from the back. Yes. All right, so this is how we change the light bulb on our Leco bulbs. First thing you're gonna do is unplug the light. All right, then you're gonna take the little hand knob, loosen it, angle it towards you, and tighten it again. So now that you're here, you're gonna find this little gold knob and you're gonna loosen it until the whole top piece kind of comes off. All right, so now you have the whole top piece out here. You flip it around, see the bulb. So from here, you, there's these little kind of like brassy looking clippy things. So you're gonna pinch them like this, and then they go up, like that. You can then take out the bulb. Sometimes they do get stuck. Um, so yeah, then because this bulb is so good, we can put it right back in. You gotta push it down just a wee bit to make sure it gets stuck in there. And then you put down the metal things by pinching and then pushing them down, then flip. And you put the bulb into this kind of like glass hole here. Make sure it's all secure, and then you tighten the gold knob. All right, so once everything isn't moving again, you can take the light, angle it back, then plug it in, make sure it works. Ta-da! Cool. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to take down a light. Uh, first things first, unplug light and unwrap cord from the bar. Then you take your handy dandy crucifix and then this square one here and you loosen the C-clamp. So you really just need to get it like untightened and then you can do the rest of it with your hands. All right, so then while it's here, you remove the safety cable and it's just like one of those like little um, D-clips, whatever people like to call those. Yeah, carabiner, that's what it is. Um, anyway, so safety cable's off, then you take the light up and out. Then to put the light back on, take the light, hook it on, and then you hand tighten the little C-clamp. Then you take the safety cable and hook it back on. And then you take your crucy and then you tighten it all the way so it doesn't move. And then take the cord, wrap it around the bar a couple times just so it's not hanging down and can't get caught on anything. And then you plug it in. All right, so with our Fresnels and Lecos, taking them off and putting them back on the rack is the same, and then also adjusting them like side to side and spinning them, it's also the same thing. So I'm not gonna go over that too much, um, but what is different is the gels and focusing. So with the Fresnels, there's this little like knob thingy that you spin and it, depending on what direction you spin it, focuses or unfocuses the light more. But with Fresnels, they never focus in actual circles. So you just have like small, big, etc., etc. And then with the gels, they're a bigger metal frame. I don't know if you can see that. Um, same concept, clear piece of plastic. It's colored. Um, so you take gel, put it onto like the top of the light where like the little knob is when you change the bulb. Slip it in so that it's underneath all the stuff. And it's a different color. And then with Fresnels, you cannot use gobos. All right, so this is how we change a bulb on a Fresnel. So first things 
first you have to take the light off of the rack and then set it on the ground with this little like circle knob up. So then you loosen the knob until you can bring out this like frame here. So it falls out like that. Then you can see the bulb on the inside. So then you push down on the bulb and then twist left, like counterclockwise, and you bring it up. Sometimes it takes a little like finagling that you can have the bulb out. Then take out the new bulb. All right, so we have our new bulb and then you put it in like sideways. So you push down and then spin to the right until it can't come out. Then you close the little glass piece and then tighten the knob on top all the way. Yep, that's it. So this is our one of our strobe lights that we have here. Um, so warning if anyone's like prone to seizures or anything, flashing lights, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anywho. So with our strobe lights, you have power cord and this little knob that changes how fast it like flashes. Um, and so with these lights, most of the time we have to use adapters that change the, um, the power cord from like a regular outlet into one of the lighting outlets. But right now we don't need that. So, but once you plug it in and have power running through it, it turns on, which is why we need the light things we control the boot. So, plugging in, and then it's flash. And so then by twisting the knob, you can make it go slower, faster. This is our fog machine. Um, yeah, uh, it's a fog machine. <laughs> so we use low-lying fog, um, so that way it doesn't go everywhere in our auditorium. So once you get it out of the box, you take the power cord and you plug it in to a regular outlet. And then it has like all the blue lights. Um, there's a big on off switch back here that turns it on and off. And then also you can see the levels of like how much fog juice is in it from back here. Um, and so once you plug it in, you have to wait for it to warm up. All right, so once the fog machine is warmed up, uh, you can look at the remote, figure out what to do. So there's three different buttons. You have continuous, which when you press it, it stays down and then will shoot fog for as much as it can. Um, manual, which you just kind of tap it and it shoots out fog. And then you have the timer option. So then when you do the timer option, you click it, it stays down. And then you have two knobs up here. Um, this one is the interval, which is set in minutes, which is how many times, like this time in between each time it sets off fog, if that makes any sense. And then you have the uh, duration, which is how long it can shoot fog for, which is in seconds. All right, so I'm gonna be using the manual button to shoot out fog. And this is just like one little tap that I'm gonna do, so. Fog. So now we have to take the fog machine and leave behind all the important electronics and then dump out the juice 